Hello folks, this is your 2017 October November paper 2-3 and the question number is 2. This question is concerned with the chapter of uh, uh, forces density and pressure and also somewhat about uh, uh, work power and energy because we have to talk about some sort of energy, uh, energy things also here, uh, energy things also. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, it says that a liquid of density rho uh, fills a container to a depth h as shown in figure 2.1 so that's here the base of the container has area a so uh, this is the area of the base i can say it as uh, this is the area of the base here written here uh, derived from the definitions of pressure and density the equation uh, p equal to rho gh where p is the pressure exerted by the liquid on the base of the container and g is the assistant of a free fall so p is the pressure here pressure here so the first thing that we have to remember is the term pressure P is equal to force uh, per unit area. So it's equal to force on the base per unit area, this thing. So the force is equal to uh, mass of the uh, whole liquid here, liquid here into G by this area equal to the mass is equal to uh, density into its volume into Z by area, mass equal to rho V. And then rho is as it is, V is equal to the area into the height here. So A, H, then Z, this A. So A and A cancel. So if I arrange things, it will become rho G, H. So pressure is equal to rho G, H, one of the most, one of the very famous equations of physics. Now, a small solid sphere falls with constant velocity through the liquid. So a solid sphere is supposed to fall uh, through the liquid with constant velocity uh, the names uh, state the names of the three forces acting on the sphere so if the sphere is falling here one force is the force of gravity here uh, force of gravity gravity which we can also call as the weight of the body uh, this is the uh, force of gravity next is the upthrust force which we call as FUP so FUP is equal to upthrust force, upthrust force, it will be acting in upward direction. And the next one is the viscous force or the drag force or we can see the say liquid resistance and so on. So next is uh, uh, FD uh, which you can call as drag force, drag force or often called as viscous force, viscous force. Now. Uh, number two says uh, we have to state a word equation that lists the magnitude of these forces. So what happens here is, so this is the drag force here of the, uh, or, or the um, uh, viscous force here. So uh, when it is falling with constant velocity, that means resultant force is zero. That means uh, the sum of uh, downward forces sh should be equal to the sum of upward forces. So we should have, we should have a force of gravity. Force of uh, gravity will be equal to equal to uh, up thrust up thrust force uh, plus it will be the uh, drag force I can say drag force or I can say viscous force as well at this level uh, there isn't much discuss uh, much uh, discretion between these two forces but in higher levels you have to uh, distinguish them properly now number two uh, state and explain the changes in energy that occur as the sphere falls so as the sphere falls what I've been saying is uh, there is loss of potential energy, loss of uh, gravitational gravitational potential energy because its height falls. And uh, regarding Ke, nothing happens to the Ke because it is constant. Since velocity is constant, the value of kinetic energy should be constant. And uh, uh, there will be there will be some work has to be done to uh, done to. Uh, go against uh, the uh, viscous forces so there will be heat losses so uh, there will be a uh, production of heat production of heat production of heat to when overcoming while overcoming while overcoming the drag forces the drag and viscous forces viscous forces now number C the liquid in the container in liquid L uh, is liquid L. Uh, liquid M is now added to the container. So we have the 
this liquid here uh, this liquid is L what it says is the liquid given here was so let me do it properly let me fold it properly the liquid given here was here was liquid L liquid L so this is so this liquid was a liquid L simply L then some liquid M is added here this is liquid M as it, the question says the total liquids don't mix uh, the total depth now is uh, it is 0 0.17 meters meters figure 2.2 .2 shows how the pressure inside the liquids vary with height x above the base of the container so now we have uh, the height is from the base of the container so it goes x goes like this x goes upward and the graph is somewhat like this so at 0 0.10 meter there is a change in the slope so state the value of the atmospheric pressure so from this graph we have to state the value of atmospheric pressure so here what happens is uh, when x equal to 0 uh, when x equal to 0 the pressure is 9.25 uh, into 10 power 4 pascals now as x goes on rising 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 and when x is 0 0.17 0 0.17 meter the pressure is equal to 9.1 into 10 to the power of 4 pascal so x equal to 0 0.17 meter means that it is at the surface x equal to 0 0.17 meter means that it is at the surface so that's why the atmospheric pressure and the uh, pressure should be the pressure at the surface and that's equal to that's equal to uh, so here this much it is 9.10 into 10 to the power 4 pascals now state the density of liquid m so liquid m the graph is here so what we have is uh, for this purpose we have to do delta pressure is equal to rho into z into delta of h so from here i can have rho is equal to delta p by z then delta h so that's equal to so in this uh, in this triangle let us see in this triangle in this region we have to find the change in uh, pressure so that's equal to pressure is here it is 9.15 here it is 9.10 so it is 9.15 minus 9.10 into 10 to the power 4 divided divided z is 9.81 into change in height is here it is 0 0.17 and here it is 0 0.10 so 0 0.17 meters minus 0 0.10 meters so it will be uh, if i do the calculations so let me press the calculator so 9.15 minus 9.210 equal to 0 0.05 so into uh, 1 exponent 4 divided bracket 9.81 into bracket 0 0.17 minus 0 0.10 bracket bracket so this becomes equal to equal to 728.11 uh, kz per meter cube so i when it i write in 3 sf here it will be equal to 728 kg per meter cube so this gives the complete answer to the whole question